Hello there, I'm your host Dan Rojas and this is a piece of distorted plastic that actually got distorted in about 25 seconds. If you look way over there, 135 feet away, there is a single mirror with the, it's actually not even a good mirror, it's dirty, it's got screwed up edges and it's a second surface mirror but it is uh, 30 inches by 40 inches and at 135 feet it is capable of melting plastic. You can actually see how a little bit of wind is uh, moving the focal point around. Right now our temperature at the plastic is hundred and ninety nine degrees two hundred degrees the top temperature was 274 it actually started to smoke but that was before this uh, breeze decided to come along and screw things up and this is a typical household mirror by the way there's nothing special about it and we don't even have full mirror coverage it got uh, I found it sitting outside this was a scrap mirror and I just put a frame around it with the pressure bar but there's something different that I'm doing to the back that I'm going to be showing you in a future video when we actually use this along with several other mirrors to take a tree down. Now before you get too upset about killing trees, I too am totally against killing trees. I have trees growing in areas where I could use sunlight but I just let them do their thing. This one's growing into my wind turbine. so we. I'll cut that back, but this tree right here that's going to be cut down has been dead for two years. And you can see no other trees. This isn't a fall thing. It was like this all summer long. It got struck by lightning and the core actually blew out of it. And big chunks of wood have been falling off of it. And it's a dangerous thing. If you do mirrors like this, by the way, don't forget them because they will wander right into stuff that you have important. I melted the handle off of a really good saw the other day doing this. It just, the sun moves, the longer your focal length, like this, this is 100, uh, 135 feet, the longer your focal length, the quicker that that moves. This will cover a distance of about 3 feet and 20 minutes at this distance. You can easily go from a wall area in your target over to very important things and if it's powerful enough burn your house down so be careful with this Alex is my assistant today it's Roland's son right yeah, okay right, so you can see the wind that is the wind that little tiny breeze everything's exaggerated dramatically the longer your focal length is but we are heading at a solid 244 so that's really good for a mirror at uh, 135 feet now we have two mirrors over there and that was them walking give me a favor walk back in front of the mirrors you can actually see their image go ahead come on over here Alex and Denise is bringing me we got black tea. Oh, thank you very much hmm this setup uh, I'm gonna be showing you once the, the episode airs in Japan on that but we are on target right now we have two mirrors now and I discovered what I did wrong in the Archimedes video in regards to optimal adjustment of the mirror So what we need to do, I need, there's that black corrugated paper that we had. So now I'm going to be trying this on something that's not, doesn't have a transparency to it. It's a solid material. So all the light should absorb. Two 
270. Wow, this stuff's going fast. If you look around the back side, no sunlight's coming through. So that means that this... This is already burning at 135 feet with two mirrors. What the hell happened to it? It must be right here. Oh wow, look at that. It is... There you go, hold that for him. Let's see. We are three set four, 412, 410. That's all that's doing this at 135 feet. And there's stuff blocking it on the way. It should be recording. There's a hole. Success. Look at that success. Go ahead, stop burning. Goodbye, tadpoles. Yeah, there probably was tadpoles. Oh. <laughs> 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 well. Okay. The reason that this doesn't affect the brick wall is because it's a light color. And it's, I mean, it gets hot, but if this wall was black, I wouldn't even think of pointing it at this because it could actually damage the concrete. Um, if there was like moisture in there, it could make, make it steam and crack it. This is fluted paper, and this shows you reasons why you don't want pieces of cardboard sitting around, and also why you don't want it to come over to stuff like this over here. So I'm taking these mirrors down right away. This also proves that plastic siding, a neighbor's window, just happens to be just right can actually melt the siding off of a house or even burn it down um, it's pretty interesting stuff that is two regular house mirrors at 135 actually 140 feet we had to move them back instead of changing the focus I went ahead and just uh, uh, backed them up a little bit because they're a little tricky to focus so if we can get that we should be able to trim that tree with maybe five of them. We definitely increased. We did all that video to get that pirate ship on fire. Alex and I were able to do it with just two mirrors by making two small modifications. I'd like to thank Alex Colley. He actually was the cameraman for this. Thank you, Alex. I'm your host, Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos. What'd you think of that King Boo Boo, huh? Pretty interesting, huh?